So now we'll just move on to the other side. And this one, like I said, is going to be a little more entailed. I definitely got to pull this cotter pin out. I got a regular clip to put in there. And um, this one, like I said, I'm going to be spacing the sprocket and the drum out. And when it's all said and done and it's in there, this thing always floated around. And it's, I guess, worn on a slight angle. And it would work its way out like that. After it's all on there, I mean, as you can see, it's anchored on the top. I want to run something down. You know, a piece of metal or whatever it is, however I do it. But I want to be able to maybe come down and then put a bolt on there to wash it to shim it. Because that was Junior's idea to use the bolt. So we could always fine tune it. And then when it's always right there in the center of the drum when you hit the brake, rather than wanting to walk its way off like that. So I think that's about it. And I think we'll tweak this over just a little bit to get this to lay straighter like that. So well, we'll see how it goes. Yeah, because that's definitely that's definitely on an angle. So I'm probably going to start by tweaking that just so it's always laying in the right spot when I take all my measurements and do all my stuff. Well, let's get this side shimmed up. Look at that. Nice and true. No hopping. So this should be good with the big tires on it. Okay. Plus it's going to widen up the track. Uh, three quarters of an inch here, three quarters of an inch there, an inch and a half total. So it'll be a little more stable with the wider tires. Less chances of me and my big frame flipping it over. Okay, okay I'm installing the studs on the back of this, this hub. Okay, this side the tire goes on, and this side the sprocket and the brake drum goes on. These are hardened studs, one side's coarse, one side fine, three eighths. And this is how you do it, you double nut it and drive it in. What's nice about doing it like this is the shoulder right here is actually wider than the thread so when you put it down you actually put that taper deep into here so any kind of load on this isn't rocking on the actual threads anymore it's already jam seated so oh, let's do okay it. this is a setup I've come up with the left side hub instead of putting like washers or whatever let's see if I can see I'm gonna nut it on both sides and that allows me that after I mount this hub I could actually shim the sprocket. I mean, I got this sprocket just sitting there. It's roughly in line now. Um, I changed the clip on the brake here. Changed the clip on the brake there. I bent that. But I think that's what we're going to wind up going with right there. There's no way I'm going to break those studs. And this way, like I said, I could loosen one side, tighten the other side. And I could get in, you know, through the back side. And I could actually make sure the sprocket is true. Take up anything... You know that's happening everywhere else um, and as for the washes that you saw me use on this side they were like 15 thousandths too big just the actual lip that they use here when they shear it I had to remove and then everything went together those you don't you don't really see it's they're buried inside I have to get myself two more nuts because they're fine thread I don't have them and then, like I said, I could put the nut and lock washer on the outside and just go from there. Oh, it's on. Like I said, I put the tape around there. I did this. I did this side. I shipped it with the nuts. I got the brake lane straight. I didn't put lock nuts on here because I realized you can't crush it down because there are full bearings in there. So basically what I did was I put Loctite in there and seated them until they just touched like they were before. I think we're ready to go. That's the straightest this chain's ever been. It's always the same tension. So, you know, I had a racing cam for this thing, and a header, and I was going to run it on alcohol. I don't think the frame can handle it, and I don't think the neighbors can either. So, no. Everything's 
Ain't done good. Told you how loose his clutch is, huh? 